Are the Kale Box Jades the ultimate clicky switches? Let's find out. Here are the amazing Kale Box Jades. I love these switches. The amount of tactility on them is amazing. The click bar on these switches, in my opinion, is what makes them have such a superior click compared to something like cherry blue or greens, or in fact many other clicky switches. The whole box lineup from Kale is pretty decent, and that's the reason I got these switches. I'll be installing them in my Logitech G Pro X keyboard. Yes, it's a G Pro X, I got it for $65 to $70 New Zealand second hand off Trade Me, so it was a pretty good deal. Yes, I know there are better keyboard bases to build in, but it's my main keyboard right now. So I took out my current Kale Blues that came in my Logitech G Pro X at the time and then proceeded to do a quick clean up. I just did a vacuum and then a quick wipe with some wet wipes that had a bit of rubbing alcohol in them. I loaded up the Logitech G Pro X with the Kale Box Jades and tested all of them out. I accidentally bent two of the pins on the switches and didn't have any time to bend them back, hence the two Kale Blues that are still in there. For the keycap set, I stuck with my current set, which is a current mixture of the Logitech G Pro X keycaps, the default ones which I believe are ABS, and a Gradient Blue set from AliExpress which I believe are Double Shot PBT from what I've been told. Link below if you guys want to get them as well. From my initial impressions, yes, I would say the tactility is a lot, and at first may actually tire you out. Genuinely, these switches used to make my fingers feel tired after typing on them for essays or scripts for the first two weeks, but after that I began to get used to them. Now the tactility is still there for me, but just isn't as exciting anymore if I use the switches all the time. I do notice it though if I switch to my laptop for a day and then come back to my desktop. The Kale Box Jade's keyboard is definitely superior and I can just feel the difference once again. But then again, the excitement is just not as much as in the first month that I had this keyboard. That's not to take away from the switches, they definitely are exciting, but I do have to say you probably will get used to them over a certain period of time. The feeling of these switches are really nice. When you press down on the Kale Box Jades, they have a slight travel distance at first when initially pressed, but then proceed onto the click bar below which you can really feel. The click bar creates a lot of tactility and feels very noticeable. It's almost like a sharp fall off downwards when pressing the switch. In my opinion, it's amazing. Again, I am someone who prefers heavier switches and this gives me a really good time. I don't feel like I'm bottoming out at all as well considering of how hard I press switches usually. The sound. I like the sound overall from the Kale Box Jades. They are really loud, but I like that. The sound is a bit piercing and high pitch, depending on what keycap set you put on. I think my one just makes them sound a little bit louder than what they should be. I would prefer a lower bassy of noise, but the high pitch sound isn't too bad overall. I would love to try these Kale Box Jades with a set of SA keycaps. The sound would just be amazing from them and from what I've seen online on YouTube. Some downsides. Some people may not like how heavy these switches are. You will need to get used to them. They have a higher actuation force, but in my opinion, that's exactly what makes them fun. Another one is that they are ridiculously loud. If you are in an office space, you are going to get thrown out. There's no doubt about that for me. I mean it when I say it. The Kale Box Shades are loud and that's exactly why I like them. Everything about these switches just makes me love them so much. The design, the click bar, the sound. It's a magical experience. I wouldn't trade these switches for anything else, unless you can show me something better. As I always say to anyone that wants to get a mechanical keyboard, or just my friends in general, there can always be better options for mechanical switches, and some may just objectively suck. <clears throat> cherry browns, rattling cherry MX blues, but to each their own. Really though, the best way to determine whether you like a switch or not is literally just to try them out, and make sure that you like it or you don't like it. It's up to you at the end of the day. I like to change my keyboards out a lot, and that's just who I am. I like to try different things with keyboards, try different switches, literally try different keyboards all the time. I love mechanical keyboards. I like all keyboards in general. I like to try new things with keyboards all the time. You can see it in my old keyboard playlist. 
This stuff is amazing to me. And if you like keyboard videos as much as I do, or even just DIY videos, make sure you subscribe as I have so many more projects in the books that I haven't put out yet and are uh, just sitting in my hard drive waiting to be edited and uploaded to YouTube. So make sure you subscribe and check out wirestech.org for some more awesome technology content. But other than that, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.